Hello everyone, I thought I would hop on quickly as we've had a question about previous back issues and we don't have a lot of back issues left. Hang on. Hang on. Mine's like the wrong place I might, it's because I, I... Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's because I, I was, took a photo with the uh, phone. Here we go, that's hopefully flip around. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we thought we would hop on. Um, now, when we did the change over to the website, we decided that we weren't going to have an online shop anymore. And partly because we wanted to hop over to Amazon instead to produce the books, and you know, hopefully, be able to do something a bit bigger and a bit more in depth. Yes, hence the books. Hence the books. But um, obviously we do still have a few bits of stock left of the magazines and the plan is that once that's gone we're going to combine all of these into one book so that we, we can do back issues that way. But uh, I thought I would take you through each issue individually. Come on, honey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a biggie. So we start off with our Premier issue, issue one. It's somewhat of a limited edition because we have how many copies in? Three. Three. Okay, so three of you <laughs> can purchase one of these. I suppose we should say how much, shouldn't we? They're five pound each. Yeah, the five pound each. If you spend over fifteen pound, it's free postage. Twenty pound. Oh, get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I leave you in to do the figures. <laughs> Yeah, my memory's like a sieve. We have free postage over £20, so if people want to. Okay. And if you want to ship them internationally, we can do. It is... Um, £8? Pound? It's usually £8. Yeah, £8 yeah. Pound international. Okay. Just because weight. And twenty, how many you get. Okay, so each one of these magazines actually is more like a book because we've, we've gone for a really high quality stocked printed one. Just go through what's in them rather than flicking through, go through just like what's in each. Okay, so we have our lovely design team. We have shadow boxes, um, stamping and colouring um, to create designs with our scanning cut, so moving beyond the cut. Vinyl. We have a mini album project. Using up scraps to make embellishments, which is always handy. And we used to do a bit on planning, we don't do so much in, that, in later issues. And this one's a really useful one because it's about downloading files and transferring it to Canvas. So um, there isn't anything that's really changed in this one, so this one's still pretty current. And my favourite project from this one is the Eclipse card. So if that's something that you're into, you'll like that one. Okay, and at the back of each magazine we have a troubleshooting section. And at the time we did the USBs. Now we can do the USBs, so if that's something you're interested in, let us know and we'll work it out from there. So that's issue one. Issue two. It's even more limited. <laughs> it's even more limited edition, so how many have we got of these? Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have... Our five from one paper collection, so that's quite useful for thinking about different card shapes and how we can work with them. Working with text and affinity designer, so this is one that I set up for Ian to go on a chopping board. And Just says the quality board. is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we did, you know, we wanted to get them. I mean, they're printed locally for us. Yeah. Um, Oh. By the marvellous rich print, so yeah, hopefully, print. hopefully, when all this is over, they'll open back up and we can start doing a bit of work with them again. Yeah. Fingers crossed, because they're also the same guys that um, we do the printing cup with usually. Yes. So, so we've got a beginning in stamping section. So we try to cover quite a bit of varied crafts around the scanning cut. So it's not all scanning cut. And we've got scrapbooking Christmas and we've put in some Christmas prompts and again a bit on the planner. So um, this is the start of our offsetting 
project which is really really useful um, you'll learn as you start to watch how I work that offsetting is a pretty major part of that well you're just while you're finding it um, just a quick answer to Hayley um, Hayley they are five pound each and if you get over four of them we waiver the shipping so we usually put a three pound shipping fee on um, under 20 pound over 20 pound we'll ship for free so there you go okay. Okay. And we've done back doing an advent calendar. So that was our first advent calendar. We've done two. Because the magazine's just over two years old. I think it costs a lot to send to Australia. Um, we've just put it up to £8 for shipping to Australia. International. international. Um, it does cost a little bit more, but again, we usually just swallow the we're happy to ship. We'll swallow the cost. If, it, if you want a few of the issues, we'll quite happily ship them for you. And my behind the scenes bit was a new introduction for issue two and I talk about how things work um, behind the scenes in terms of how stamps are made in this one. So there was a bit of chatter at the time about tracing and things like that and yes you have to trace to make stamps because you want to do it as a vector. Keeps it nice and clean. Okay and again troubleshooting. Issue three. <laughs> Super limited edition. There is only one. Yeah, there is only one of these. So um, <laughs> first come, first serve. <laughs> yeah, it's literally whoever says I want that one first. <laughs> so in there we have. You just said I want all the issues. They are. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish we could do all, but we have no issue nines whatsoever. No. Um. So uh, we start off in issue three, <laughs> straight into oh. our. Could we do them all digitally? We probably can, yeah. Just as a thought of some, if somebody did want every issue rather than, then it would stay on shipping then as well. We could probably yeah, do it a little we, bit cheaper. We could probably do it digitally. Um, the only thing I'd say is if we were doing it digitally, the way that we'd have to do it is PDF. So we would have to um, ask very nicely that you don't share it because there's no way that you can secure a PDF. No, but you know, it's a way that we might be able to do it if. So, anyway, issue yes, three. Sorry. Issue three. That was the biggie, because this is a poker table. It's in our front room at the moment. <laughs> and if it was clear, I'd show it to you, but it's not. <laughs> so, I take you right from designing it, to cutting it, to applying it, and you end up with a smashing poker table at the end of it. And we talk about weeding boxes as well. So that's when you're going to in depth in this one. Uh, my mum did an article for this one. <laughs> so if mum's watching, hi mum. And we did a bit on playing with letters and how we can adapt them in the diff using the different text tools and the different software. So we've done Illustrator, we've done a bit on Designer, Inkscape. Um, Canvas Workspace Desktop and the online separately because at right, the time okay. you could do different. Tracy says you'd love a USB of all the magazines sent to Australia. How much do you think it would be? Because I would prefer all the magazines, but I think it would cost a lot to send to Australia. So if we can put them all on the USB for her, we could secure the USB. Could we? I don't know. We'll look into it for you. Uh, we'll either do it by USB or we can do it by. Um, well, I'll transfer to a Dropbox or something because that's how we usually yeah. send it to print anyway. <laughs> Goes by Dropbox. We'll talk after because that sounds like a plan, so we can discuss yeah. and yeah, we can sort something out with you, Tracy. Yeah. And who knows, you might get some extra files snuck in on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might fill the USB. And <laughs> use some extra bit. Yeah. So with issues probably one to about nine, ten, there's a USB that actually goes with it, isn't there? That we used to do as an optional mm. extra. Which has cut so, lots of extra fun bits to play with. Yeah. Um, was it Carol things. yesterday who was saying about the parchment? I'm sure it was Carol. Some new buzz. Yeah, so Carol, you want to get issue three. <laughs> and it's the only one here, so I hope you're watching. <laughs> but again, if we do put it as a digital, we can offer it Yeah. that way. Yeah, so I, I talk about how we can set up a parchment design actually on a scanning cup, which is cool. 
markers and which ones to use. So I talk about the alcohol markers, paint pens, so on and so forth. And then scrapbook layouts. Yay! I do apologise if, if I miss some comments. I have a, a box that's appeared on my screen that I can't get rid of it and it's just blocking the comments. Ah, there we go, it's gone now. <laughs> so we have offsetting part two. So this follows straight on from issue two. And as you can see, from the USB. So we have a load of inspirational sentiments that we did. And this was a cool project and it's only on the USB. I haven't put it anywhere else. It's a perpetual calendar and it has room for some little post notes in the bottom. It has this bit actually spins round and then you, your little dice come out to do your date. And then we put in a little bit of news and bits. So there's bits about copyright, there's bits about ethical selling and products. And then I use troubleshooting. Issue, issue four. Three. Issue four. We have four of these, so um, they're still limited edition, but they're not quite as limited as the other one, two, and three. Okay. <laughs> with issue four, I I highly recommend getting the USB to go with it. I say that because I did twelve months of layered cards. So basically, for each month, there's a layered design that goes with that month. So off the top of my head, that's the January card, and then. You have the February card, which is lovely. One of my favourite designs, that. <laughs> then we have working with layers, and again we cover Canvas Workspace Online because layers aren't available. We cover Illustrator, Craft Artist, which is unusual for us to cover Craft Artist. Mm. We, we, we do occasionally. We've even got shortcuts a lot in this one. Yes, we, it's when we had all the trial versions, wasn't it, we yeah. were using? Yeah, we literally hit everything and went, oh, okay, which do we like? Um, Affinity Designer and Inkscape. And then we can we went into doing Canvas Desktop and how we do actually set up our layers and how each file is set up. So um, basically, when you open one of the files from the USB, usually, usually, it, comes up with a layers list where you've actually got all the instructions actually in the title of the layer. So if you look at that from there. And they're already set up to whether they draw or whether they cut. <laughs> You're just about to ask about shortcuts a lot. <laughs> 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 yes, we did have it, um, like I said, just on a trial one. Um, obviously it's a, a paid product, so it was one that we we could only use for the trial period, wasn't it? Yeah. And for those of you that don't get the USB, I've even included a template that you can actually scan into your scanning cut. Because I'm nice like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we did a little bit on rhinestones as well. So creating your own stickers for your planner, because I'm a planner nut, hence we have, we have a company called Plancraft. Um, we have calculating shapes. Um, now, if you have the new book, this bit's been updated. <laughs> so, just so that this bit makes a bit more sense when you're in Canvas. Because they call it different things, usefully. Okay, and you can actually... <laughs> you can actually bring the sample in for this one in. It's oh, the... Home. Yeah. It's yeah, it's literally in the hall. <laughs> It's not in its best state anymore, is it? No, it, it, it's been brushed about a bit because it's been in and out at displays and stuff, so bless it, it's... It's falling apart, this thing. It's slowly falling apart. Just be careful, because... Uh, bits of tape are given away, so I'll just put them back together oh. from the back. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Oh. I'll have to put that back together and I'll, I'll put it up later. Yeah, we'll take a photo and put it up on my face. Yeah, I'll take it apart and sort it out. It's fine. But that one's really good because you can put a, a light bulb in it. So, you can see there. It's a bit hard to photograph because it's black vellum. So, it does a really cool effect when you use a white pen on it. And then we've got 
no behind the scenes bit about why we do what we do so we covered a bit on YouTube and Instagram and the article 13 great fun that and affiliate links and more troubleshooting now issue 5 is our bumper issue so it go, runs at 30, 33 pages slightly bigger than the most isn't it yeah, yeah. So how, much, how many pages are normally it's about 26 is it it's normally about um 20 excluding the covers yeah so yeah usually about 20 so you get about 20 pages for the book so so this one is a i went a bit mad <laughs> and to be honest yeah. i could have carried on going so what issue is this this is issue five four of these left at the moment so until okay. we can get more printed um so we have um handmade wedding planning so you've got lots of tips of what to sort and when um i did do my, my entire wedding didn't i so <laughs> comes from experience so you'll see there's lots of little notes saying don't do it like this do it like this <laughs> uh, i did a lovely wedding invite project and it's actually one where you um color the actual design Basically, that's working with guys, and then when you dinner over, we actually put it all together. So you can actually use it to set up a watercolour design and set and watercolour your invites if you feel that way inclined, or you can just do one and get it printed, which is what I tell you to do in here. <laughs> okay, and we did a bit on foiling, repeat patterns, so how we can set up symbols in Affinity Designer, and you can do the same in Illustrator. So we've done Illustrator there and Inkscape as well. Yeah, advanced users only want to attempt that one. So hence I've put a lovely <laughs> warning. <laughs> this is just what a team you two are. What an achievement you should be proud of ourselves. <laughs> oh, make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> so um, people who joined in with the envelope stream the other day, you can see that we've done that in here as well. And then we've taken it a couple of steps further. So we've done lacy envelopes, we've done um, pinwheel envelopes and things like that. And then building boxes for doing favour boxes. And I did a lovely twisted one, which is the one you see on the cover with an aperture. And then we did the pattern panel using that same one that we did in going back back so that pattern there actually ends up in the pattern of our box see everything links <laughs> and then we did our big printing cup so as i said the lovely rich print also printed out our pages for us to do this should have shared this on the page and then perhaps andy might have seen it mm -hmm. And also how to use LEDs, which is a great fun one. So if you want to do something a bit funky, a bit different, we can do LEDs. We still have some of those, don't we? We do have the LED strips, yeah. So we could always do that in a stream. Mm. If we feel that way inclined. <laughs> and like, that's probably an all day stream to do LEDs, because it is quite a, a complex one to yeah. set up. Yeah. The setup is more than the actual putting it yeah. together isn't it it's because fun, the LED soldering <laughs> it's fun though yeah it is fun yeah. anyway moving on moving on <laughs> and then we did oh, bucket probably. design <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> especially back on at six you know you haven't got long come on, keep <laughs> <laughs> so we did lots more about working with pens and how to set them up we reviewed the R6 Pro mats because that's when they came out and we did a lot of the prototyping work, didn't we? For we the... did, yes. And then we did table decor and different things that you could do. So we did candles and we actually made our own candles for that one, didn't we? As well, eventually. We have a candle in that one now. Yes. That was fun. And then different ideas for table plans and flowers because I did all my own flowers. <laughs> Slightly mad, I did my own flowers. And then we did a little bit on troubleshooting, scrapbooking for um, weddings, finishing touches, 
um, including how to do faux letterpress, which is quite an interesting one. And then more troubleshooting. Issue six, we have two. Two. So super limited editions. This is one of my favourites as well, and there's only two. <laughs> so, choosing your format. So this is literally getting started in scrapbooking as if you've never done it before. So, I love scrapbooking. I do lots of memory recording because I have a memory like a funnel. I don't have a sieve, I have a funnel, everything goes. So, right from using sketches to get you started, if you're not confident with layouts yet, which is you know, absolutely fine. So we took our sketch and we made it into a bowling alley. <laughs> and we show you how to draw, just using basic shapes. Then we did shaker cards with the sticks to stencil film and the sticks to double sided adhesive and cutting acetate on your scanner cut. Um, we did complex matting and layering where you actually save the material. So although we've got all these layers, all that actually is is two sheets of card. So you don't need any more than two sheets of card to do that. Okay, and we have making embellishments, so that's using the bits on your machine as well. Um, 6 by 8 scrapbook layouts. Photo editing, for those that have never edited a photo in their life, that's what I used to do in a former life. <laughs> so, up to 80 images a day. Print resolution, fantastic job. And then I did a bit on construction layouts and um, rule of thirds and all sorts of marvellous things like that. Traveller's notebooks, using the fuse tool. So if you haven't got one of those, love it. There's a knack to it, but I love it. <laughs> okay, and finally, more troubleshooting. If there's anything you want me to uh, show in a bit more depth, just say. Right, issue seven. A few more of these, got seven of these, so not quite so limited. Okay. So um, we did our foiling onto leather, so that's my old design from my drawing. So we did that scan, um, or we photographed it and took it into Adobe on the iPad. So Adobe Sketch, it's not Sketch, Capture. Capture. That's the one I'm looking for, Adobe Capture. And then we turned it into an SVG and foiled it, and then we cut all that out. What is a fuse tool? Fuse tool. Uh, it is. You carry on, I'll get it out. <laughs> okay. Fuse tool is used for heating and welding plastic. So, whether that's a, like a poly pocket in your album to make pockets, or they do actually do fusible paper, which is just by using. And there's your fuse tool. You can get four different ends for it, so this is just your, your standard joining end. You can get packs for it, you can get 12 by 12 papers in it. So, love the fuse tool. <laughs> um, if you go on our YouTube channel, there's actually a video on that, and it is one of our most watched videos on the channel, bizarrely. Uh, we did alcohol techniques, so if you watch me doing the alcohol the other day, you'll think, oh, that looks kind of familiar. <laughs> yep, because <laughs> I still like it. Um, folding surprises, so the idea is that when your card is closed, it looks like it's going to be one thing, and then you open it up, and you've done all this fantastic colouring that you just don't see. Uh, then my beloved typewriter. So... Where is your beloved typewriter? Beloved typewriter is... At your mum's? I think it's still at mum's. Yeah. It's not here. No. Yeah. When we moved everything went in three different directions and I haven't got a clue where half of it is. The only thing is now that we're here and it's like, we're stuck here and it's like, oh I just need, oh it's not here. <laughs> <laughs> so the number of times that you'll catch me in the stream thinking, I just need that, uh, uh, no. Um, love it, chop it, SNC for cutters. If you follow, um, I did say who, Kylie Batucci on YouTube. She's a stamping up lady and she's done a um, love it, chop it 
for their papers and it got me inspired to do something similar for the scanning cup so I set up a file and then we did loads of card layouts for it so again that's on the USB and occasionally you'll catch me do bits and pieces with it for um, like dovecraft and stuff um, scanning projects so direct cutting we do scan to cut data and then we use um, an external scanner for whenever we're using MDF so if you want to do um, like custom covers for MDF that's when you use an external scanner so if I show you this is the side panel of my um, typewriter so it's cut exactly to match and then um, I did the violin as well and I've actually foiled the violin so don't think that because your MDF is too thick you can't do th things with the scanning cup with it oh yes you can you just have to use an external scanner uh, using SVG sentiments, so usually when you're downloading these freebies from Love SVG or design bundles, they're meant to go on a t-shirt or whatever, so we try and use them a bit differently to do cards. Um, a bit on um, journaling, so we try and do a uh, mixed media piece in every issue, but it doesn't always work out that way. So that one actually came up in my memories yesterday, bizarrely. Mm. Yeah, so uh, that, that's literally a year old. Tracy, it was, uh, the fusel was cool and she's binge watching our channel at the moment. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, floor creations by Mum. So. Jane Davenport, I recognise that thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the Jane Davenport uh, materials that I used on that one with the Jane Davenport stencil. So with Mum's uh, issue, uh, not issue, um, article. article, she does a bit about die cutting and then I wrote the bit in about the electronic cutter because I scan and cut, bless, <laughs> bless. Oh, <sorry. laughs> it's actually Mum's <laughs> but she's never going to have a chance to use it. <laughs> so um, creating for foiling, so I talk about single line font, single line designs and texture designs. So that's a little bit about what I'm going to do at six actually. So that was issue seven. Issue eight is my nightmare issue. <laughs> fabric. Yeah, fabric. You only have four. <laughs> only four left. <laughs> if I'm aware <laughs> where they'll be gone and I'll oh, never God. think about it ever again. <laughs> or at least until next year when the fabric book's due to come out. <laughs> so, prepping fabric for your scanning cup. We have do, using your scanning cup to do a plique. Um, I actually created this design myself, so that would be quite fun. Um, pattern cutting, if you really want to get into that. Uh, Multicolor HTV actually made it into this one, so we actually did a close up on our logo that we did for our t shirt. Stitch cards, my favourite in the entire article, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we did some rhinestones where um, we cut a stencil and then put our stones through it. Drawing onto fabric and again that was entirely freehand that one if you're feeling brave. And um, we were requested to do a bit about English paper piecing um, which is where your um, template basically has to measure the inch size across the edge rather than going from here to here so that was fun so we showed you how you could do that and we did a bit on the saving material function so where you actually can tessellate your shapes rotate your shapes and the machine does it all for you that was that one <laughs> issue nine is digital only <laughs> we don't have any issue nine at the moment so. Do you know what's really bad? I can't even think what's in it. Have a look on the back of issue 10. Good point. Uh, mindfulness, mindful card making, the 3D photo cube that we did with Dovecraft um, Fairy Tales, the mini album which is Gardening with Gardenia, okay, yeah. which is also Trimcraft, um, Planning for Peace, which is quite a good one, mm. and Tranquil Scenes Workshop. Now that one is fun. It's um, particularly if you want to do a large scale project, your 
you'll like the tranquil scenes it you'll either love it or you hate it it's a marmite one but it's meant for big so when you when you're designing keep it on a big scale otherwise you get too detailed issue 10 issue 10 15 of these lots of those so we have a quick Christmas, so um, where you just want to get loads of Christmas cards done quickly. So we did a little bit on layering, we did a little bit on colouring, a little bit using um, like the 3D gel epoxy stickers because they're funky. We then did the 123 punch board, which again is a cool article which isn't necessarily scan and cut focused so if you have the 123 punch board you'll love that one um, with the 123 punch board you can actually use it to form tabs so we did like a little tab um, we show you how to do a direct cut Ooh. what? it's ok, video just went blank again but it's come back, it's alright ok um, and we make an art journal from scratch so for those of you that don't know art journals or how to get into them, that's a quite a good one. So we use the um, Crocodile Big Bite to do the cover for that one. And lots of grey board and rice paper. And then we did... <laughs> oh, that lovely, I put my uncle's 60th birthday card in the magazine. <laughs> Big numbers. <laughs> So this one's actually a mini book, so the idea being that you can then put photos in. So hence we have layouts where there's lots of space ready to put little photos in. And then here's our multicolour stamping. So you need a stamping platform, can't recommend one highly enough. Um, masking magic about how we can use stencils and also um, doing reverse masking as well. So using matte medium, um, masking fluid, opaque ink and mylar as well as masking tape. And then, can you believe, Christmas preparation. Now if you know me, you know that the chances of me actually preparing for Christmas are like <laughs> slim to none, me preparing for most things. So um, it talks about colour scheme, plan your work and work your plan, <laughs> Christmas scrapbooking. And then we asked for hints to, for Christmas projects. Issue 11. Two. Two. Wow. In issue 11 we did Canvas Workspace Online. Then Canvas Workspace Desktop. Now, if you buy the book, these bits are updated. So you may not want to buy this one necessarily. Print and cut, so we did, um, instead of doing a box project, we actually did, went through and showed how to do a cut line for a file that we downloaded. Um, painting with Sharpies, so this was using Carl's Sharpie pen holder to do a faux stained glass. So it's actually drawn onto um, clear vinyl with that one. So we did all our drawing first, then foiled it. Instructions for affinity photo. Hmm. So we can do lots of retouching. So that's a handy one for scrapbookers. Purchasing designs. So if you are looking to get into business without having to buy lots of, not buy lots, but design lots. We did making faces, so whether you do a photo conversion or drawing from scratch, so I'll show you how to set up a grid to do portraits. We did a review on the Sharpie pen holder and competition. And using symbols. And that's how we create our frame. There we go. Getting the issue 12. Three of. Three of. Cool, me. So with this one we have the enhanced image tracing done as a project. So we actually break it down into how you can actually chop out elements of your paper. We 
We do a Christmas spinner card, which is funky. So it pops up to the legs and then little bunny spins round and round. We have also a piece on creating decoupage as well. So if you want, if you're into your decoupage, you can create your own from scratch. The lovely Donna, who's head of our design team, uh, did a, a lovely article on Christmas on a budget. So it's all about Christmas decor, cheapest chips. Creating card blanks, so to do your own shaped card blanks and packages. Postal gift cards, so we actually have a little card flap in that one. Simple cards, so we're using basic shapes to create new things. Uh, a little bit on about our online learning that we're still developing and Pauline's article on her Christmas stocking, junk journaling and blending basics. And then the annual if, on Amazon actually comes between that issue and this issue. So we go from 12 to 15. We have four of these. We have four of these. You do realise technically that should be issue 16, not 15. I realised after I went to print, I was like, I can't count. Because <laughs> there's three issues in the annual. In the, in the annual, yeah. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> if you hadn't have said, nobody would have known. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody would work out eventually and go, hang on, that's three issues. No, that's not mine. So, creating manual patterns. So this is um, taking a design that you have on JPEG format and actually creating your own pattern paper. So that's something you can do with any of the downloads from design bundles. If you're doing a, a lovely project you can build your own backing papers. We have using brushes in um, photo. Tools of the trade and um, this is going to, well the plan was this was going to be a recurring slot and this one is all about graphics tablets so we use a graphics tablet for certain things so I'll be talking about that in a bit with foiling interactive cards and if Pete's watching he'll recognise this one <laughs> well actually if Pete's watching he should recognise the entire magazine but <laughs> this one we gave to Pete yeah, yeah. so um, this one we talk about uh, doing embossing, um, glitter card, and lots of interactive stuff. We do a bit of scanning help with um, lines down the scanner, low contrast to black and white, and, and even a little technique on doing washi tape frames. And then we do condolence cards, which again covers the enhanced image tracing. And we show you how to actually use part fuzzy cut to part basic shape. So that one's well worth looking at. Um, and we do a bit on embossing as well. And finally, we have the update to canvas and simple card designs and stamps and stencils. There we go. There is always through the best part of what two years work. <laughs> Nearly one and a half. One and a half. So, any questions or any issues that you want to have a bit of a closer look at? So, to order, drop us a message. Drop us a message um, via PM. So either to Ian or to me or to Planner Craft, the choice is yours. And we will do it on a first come first serve basis. So Tracy says amazing, we need to talk over Messenger, so we'll talk to Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll set that up for it's yeah. getting late for you, isn't it? It's getting like one o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but Natalie will be back at six with another wonderful stream, and uh, we'll see you all there. Mm -hmm.
Press the button. Uh, 